So everybody always looks for something that you're good at your whole life. I don't know exactly what brought me into science and technology. I just know that when I did start playing around with technology and started learning it, it was like my mind was a sponge and I just wanted to learn more and I wanted to learn more. And I was good at it. I'm Heather Thomas, I'm 40 years old and I'm the IT system specialist for the J.L. Combs Unified School District here in Santan Valley. I do some computer networking, handle servers on a day-to-day -day basis, repairing desktop computers, laptop computers, and also the applications and software programs that we use not only here at the high school but also at the district. I had bought my first computer back in 2000, believe it or not, and one day it just broke. Computers were real expensive still back then. And so I just decided to go ahead and start playing around and trying to fix it, and I did. And I started getting into fixing computers. People started giving me computers to fix and spare parts, and I started building computers and giving them away. And eventually I opened my own business until I started back to school, and that's when I put all my energy and my time back into school. I never got my high school diploma or my GED, and so coming back to community college showed me that I can do what I never thought I could do. I have six children all together, and having six children is kind of costly to go to a university, and so the community college was best for me. Community college played a huge role in my success. One of the biggest aspects of community college was being a part of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. I did a lot, I held a lot of leadership roles. I was actually chapter president my last year there. Um, that led me to winning a full ride scholarship to the university where that's, I'm actually on right now. All those things have led up to where I'm at today and led up to my success to where I'm going with NASA, where I'm going with the university and in my education. I'm trying to get these boys in the habit of cooking so when I leave to NASA, somebody knows how to cook around here. <laughs> Well, in three weeks I leave for Cape Canaveral, Florida, where I'll be working at Kennedy Space Center. I was one of 180 that was chosen to participate in the what they call the Cooperative Education Program. We're going to be tearing apart the control system for the old space shuttle and rebuilding a new one for the rocket that's going out to Mars in 2014. After that, I'm going to be joining what is called the Cooperative Education Program in Houston, Texas at Johnson Space Center. And I'll be working there for three terms, which is three semesters. And then after that, then they hire on for permanent employment. I never thought that I'd be going to do the things that I'm getting ready to go do. Over the last couple years, I, I started to realize that there was more out there for me. I had a really, really tough life when I was younger. I, uh, my mom and dad divorced when I was about five, and then we, me, bro my brother, sister, and I moved away with my mother. And when she, was, when I was 11, she passed away in a, a tragic car accident. Um, we kind of got shifted around after that, and the next thing I knew, I was about 15 and ended up pregnant. And I just basically tried to do everything I could to survive, to take care of my daughter, working full time, two jobs, one job to pay for childcare, one, one job to pay for bills. And I did that for a lot of years. I had to, if, if I wanted to do and give my daughter the best I could, then I had to do whatever I had to do. And I'm still willing to do that for my children now. I'm willing to do whatever I have to do to make a better life for them. This is doing the right thing for not just myself, but for my kids and my family. This is gonna to help to provide a better future, a better, more stability for, for us. I'm looking at long run retirement for me and my husband, college for my kids, the experience and the challenges that they'll be able to, to participate in, just being around that kind of lifestyle, being a part of NASA. So I'm excited to see what it's gonna bring for not just myself, but my kids. I have a lot of pride and I feel very, very accomplished. My children look at me in a whole different light now. They tell me, Mom, I'm proud of you. They're proud to be able to say that my mom's going to work for NASA. Um, and it's pushing my kids to not only to see that an education is, is important, but to show them that it's never too late, no matter how old you are, to, to have a future and to, to be able to fulfill your dreams and your goals.